Coronavirus in Christ is a print book of 112 pages and an audio book of two hours and six minutes. It's the first audio book I've ever recorded. I wrote the book in 2020 when the coronavirus was exploding in certain places in the United States. And when I wrote it, I was carried along by two concerns. I was weighed down by two burdens. One of them was that I wanted to provide a Bible-saturated, God-centered, Christ-exalting rock, a solid place to stand in the midst of such fragile times. The other burden was that I wanted to summon the whole world, including the church, to repentance, because I think that's what God is doing. And what I mean by repentance is experience a transformation, experiencing a transformation of our thinking and our feeling and our living that reflects, brings our lives into alignment with the infinite value of Jesus Christ. So the book has two parts that correspond to those two burdens. One part is called, Who is this God who rules over the coronavirus? And the other part is called, What is this God doing through the coronavirus? In the first part, I celebrate the sweetness And it is a sweet thing, the sweetness of experiencing the sovereignty and righteousness and holiness and goodness and wisdom of God in this global pandemic. And in the second part, I build on the conviction that God is not silent. He hasn't left us without a word in the scriptures concerning his purposes for suffering that is both global and personal. And so, based on that conviction, I try to show that God is doing at least six things. I know he's doing a billion things, but we can see in the scriptures six things and more about what he's up to, what he's trying to achieve and will achieve through this coronavirus. Those of us who are in Christ, and I'm inviting everybody into Christ. Those of us who are in Christ, by grace, through faith, can hear the trumpet sound of God over our lives in this moment from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, as he says, I have not destined you for wrath, but to obtain salvation through your Lord Jesus Christ, who died for you so that whether you wake or sleep, you might live with him. Wake or sleep, live or die, you will live with him. This is a serious book because these are serious times. It's a book about reality not sentimental imaginations. That's not what we need. That's not what our kids need. That's not what we need. We don't need sentimental substitutes for reality. We need reality. God is real. Death is real. Life is real. Jesus Christ crucified and risen and reigning is real. Salvation is real. Eternal joy is real. Oh, we have a rock. There is a rock to stand on in these days. Jesus Christ, sovereign Savior of the universe. So if you choose to read this book, my prayer for you is that you would be filled with faith and hope and invincible joy and radical risk-taking love for suffering people so that in your life, the superior worth, the infinite worth of Jesus Christ would shine.